Welcome to another video on Venn diagrams. In this video, we're going to go in a slightly different direction in the representation of the data within the Venn diagram. Rather than representing each individual element and being able to see which elements are common between different sets, rather we're going to have a look at the number of elements within each set and thus figure out the distribution of a population using a Venn diagram. So consider in this example here, I've got what is a Venn diagram and notice rather than having the elements, it's got numbers within parentheses. So this number within the parentheses here tells us that there are eight elements in this region. Similarly, if we look at P and Q, we can say that the intersection of P and Q, so this area just in here, it has a grand total of five elements and everything outside of P and Q, there are only two elements. Now, jumping straight into the questions, it's asking us to nominate or state how many elements are in each set. So looking at this one here, it is asking for P. So I'm going to write N of P, which means how many elements are in set P. And then looking at the Venn diagram, first I'm going to look at this region just here. And I can see that there are at least eight elements. And then notice that there are elements that are shared between P and Q. So I'm going to include those as well because these five elements here are also within P. So the number of elements within set P is 8 plus 5, which is 13. Moving on to part B, it is asking for everything in or outside of set Q. So N of everything outside of set Q is equal to the 5 plus the 9, so that's inside set, set Q, so we're looking at 8 and 2. So it is 8 plus 2, and that is 10. Now going down to C, it's asking for Q, but not P. Sorry, that's E. Sorry, C is P and the union, or the union of P and Q. So, all right, the union of P and Q. So the union of P and Q is the area that's shared between the set P and set Q, and that is simply five. Sorry, I was thinking intersection. So it is the area shared between P and Q plus the area of P and the area of Q. So it should be eight plus 5 plus 9, and I've jumped to a strange pen by accident. Uh, fixing that up, it is 8 plus 14, which is 22. So there are 22 members in the union of P and Q. Now going over to D, it's asking for the number of elements in P, but not Q. So I'll simply write it out in English as such. So the elements in P is 8 plus 5. But notice it's asking not Q. So it doesn't want to include this area here. So I'll get rid of the 5. So adding this all together, the two 5s cancel. And we're only left with 8. Going down again, we have E. So it is the opposite. It is Q, but not P. Q, but not P. Well, what does that equal? Well, all of the elements in Q, but excluding the ones that are also in P. So it is 9 plus 5, take away the 5. Cancelling out the 5s we are simply left with nine elements. And finally, we have F. It says neither P nor Q. So neither P nor Q. Well, what lies outside P and Q? So neither 
pay no q what lies outside of this area well it's just two so the answer here is two so this is how we would collect data or analyze or interpret interprets probably a better word so interpret a venn diagram and the count of the items within various sets and the overlap of items with or the overlap of sets and the count that's common between both sets.